And welcome back to the channel, everybody. Today, as you can see, it's gonna be a Crown Vic day because it's not sitting over here anymore. Seems like a good day to mess around with these wheels. So apparently this is what the rim is supposed to look like when it's all new. This is my full size spare. Uh, it's never actually been used as far as I know. It's still got the little manufacturing pieces on it. Maybe you see that. <clears throat> but this is a 10 year old tire. Um, it doesn't look like Ford did a particularly awesome job painting these, so spray painting them doesn't make me feel bad. Uh, at least with the other wheels, but I guess this is the kind of shine that these used to have. But yeah, this is a, uh, a Goodyear Eagle RSA. Uh, the tire size right here. Uh, let's see, uh, P235 55R17. So 17 inch rim. Uh, but yeah, there you go. It came out of here, which interestingly enough, I guess this goes up through one of the uh, lug nut holes and actually hooks around this thing right here. So, and then this hooks it onto this, which holds it to the car, and, you know, looks something like that-ish, I guess. Apparently the jack's supposed to be next to it under it, something, but I think I found this in the Impala, if I remember right. So that's kind of neat, through this in a Crown Vic where it belongs. But today, I think I'll be popping these covers off, and as you can see, there's some pretty healthy rust on these rims. And this tire at minimum is uh, probably not the safest thing in the world because that's a pretty deep gouge. Um, so if you guys are wondering why I don't really drive this around a whole heck of a lot, it's because, uh, as you know, you drive around, tire gets hot, the air inside of it expands, which will put pressure on that thing. And if it expands and contracts enough, that crack is gonna get a little deeper each time that happens, at least that would be my thought and it will eventually blow the sidewall out of this tire. So it's probably not smart that I'm sitting right here talking to y'all next to a not so healthy tire. Hmm, Florida man. But yeah, I'll probably be taking these off and trying to grind a little bit of this off or sand it off, you know, get the rust off of it. And then uh, spray paint it with a gloss black to give it that shine. And with this tire, I'm probably just gonna spray paint the tire because this tire is gonna go away. But yeah, look at the rust on this thing, man. I mean, I don't know how well it's coming through on the camera, but it's got a nice layer of surface rust on it. Yeah, I'm gonna have to clean all that off. Oh, and just for fun, I actually saw what replaced this vehicle for the uh, fire department, so I'll go ahead and show you a clip of that. Looks like they decided to get Ford Fusions for some reason. All right, so for those of you wondering, I actually just went and looked to see what the cost of these RSA, uh, these Goodyear Eagle RSA tires are, and uh, looked around on the internet, a few different places, and looks like the price for just the tire itself, if you buy this OEM, I guess, tire for the uh, Crown Vic, is somewhere between 215 and 270 plus per tire, so. Yeah, I'm gonna have to think about what I wanna do, but if I wanna kinda bring it back to an OEM type setup, I'm gonna have to get the RSA to make it a little bit more accurate. But uh, yeah, we'll see. <clears throat> I may or may not do that. But I did grab my drill and a wire wheel to see if I can't grind off uh, some of that beautiful rust. So I'm gonna start with the tire that I'm not too concerned about, which is this one and uh, see if I can't grind off some of that crust. I should probably pop that center cap off too so I don't destroy it. But this will be the one that I think I'm just gonna take off and spray paint with the tire still on it because I'm really not too concerned about this tire since it's ruined anyway.
So here we go. Took the grinder to it, or I used to say the wire wheel, it's not really a grinder. And uh, burned it down to the metal where the rust was. And if you get real close, you can kind of see some haziness as to where the rust was at. But it's a lot better than it was. I mean, there's some places where I can't really get into all that well, like down in there, but it's a heck of a lot better than it was. I might have to just get some sandpaper and grind on that stuff. And then uh, take this wheel off and spray paint it. I did find a smaller wire wheel, and that helped me get into a bunch of these other crevices that were pretty hard to get into. So I think that'll help me a lot. And I'm still struggling to get all the way in there, but uh, you can see that's where the hubcap was resting. But looks a heck of a lot better. Knocked off a lot of the rust, so I'm going to go ahead and take this uh, jack car up and take the wheel off. And uh, thank goodness I found the tiny wire wire wheel. Oh, in case you guys are wondering, these have uh, Michelins on them. Uh, let's see. I don't know if it has the... Oh, there it is. Pilot Sport AS3. I guess that's good enough for the fire department. But there you go. Just use the old lug wrench from the trunk to crack these loose. For those of you who haven't changed a tire on a Crown Vic before, that little arrow right there lets you know that you're supposed to use that piece of the frame to jack the car up. So I'm pretty close to it. I'm a little crooked, but good enough. Now that I've taken the wheel off the car, it's a good time to take a quick glance to see how much meat is on my uh, brake pads. There's a bunch of meat on that side, and kind of hard to see, but there's a bunch of meat on the other side, so it's probably a good sign. But there you go. Of course, I got some weird shadowing from the trees, but here's a tire off the car. Of course, my shadow's on the way because the sun's directly overhead. But there you go. What I'm going to do, probably just throw that tire on just for now, just as a placeholder. Then I don't have to put this thing up on a jack stand. There's a spare. Threw that on there as a placeholder in case this thing falls, you know, three inches or whatever. <clears throat> but uh, there you go. Just hit it one more time with uh, little the little wire wheel. Knock some more crust off of there. I just took this can of compressed air right here and blew all the dirt and everything off of the tire. Or I should say the rim there. As you can see, there's not a whole lot of crusties laying around in here. To make it that much easier to paint. So there you go, there's a quick coat of paint. I mean, if you look real close, you can see some of the grind marks, but I'm gonna do a couple layers, try to get a nice thick coat on here, but uh, this is just one layer and probably gonna give it 10 or 15 minutes to dry. And we'll see how it looks. It's looking way better now. This is two coats. If you look really, really close, you might see some swirl marks in this from the uh, wire wheel but I'm gonna go ahead and do a third coat and call it a day. That way what little bit of uh, wire wheel marks you can see will hopefully fade a little bit more with that extra layer. But looks way better than rusty. Here's one of the other wheels. As you guys can see, this one's a lot worse. It's got a lot of surface rust on it. A lot of surface rust. The other one, there was still actually some black paint exposed, but this is more rust than paint. You can see right there. So we'll go ahead and hit this with the wire wheel and grind a bunch of it off and uh, this will be the next one to get painted. Here's the first rim on the car. As you can see, I mean, if, you, if the light hits it right, you can see some of the overspray on the tire. But like I said, I'm not worried about this tire because of that nasty thing right there. I mean, that's a pretty solid gouge right there. Don't mind my crackhead fingernails. They grow really flipping fast. but. I'm sure somebody will come by and whine about it, but anyway, uh, yeah, that's a pretty deep gouge right there. So that tire's got to get changed before I really start driving this thing around at all. But I'm going to take a note out of uh, Notorious's book here, except I'm not going to use business or not uh, playing cards. I'm going to use index cards. Probably could use business cards. It probably will be short, though. Um, we'll see how this works trying to wedge them in there they don't make uh, index cards the way they used to they're all kind of flimsy now but this should work enough we'll see how it works working really good working really good I don't know if the rain's gonna hold out to let me do the rest of the wheels today but got two out of four done 
just got to pull this off after it dries and uh, attach it to the car. So in true Florida fashion, I got two done. And if you look over there, rain clouds coming. So I guess I'll have to be happy with two out of four for now. Well, there you go. Like I said, I went ahead and spray painted the tire on this one because I don't care. But there you go. I don't know if you, I don't know if you guys can hear that thunder rumbling, but as the wind kicks up. But I did get two out of four done. I guess I'll have to save the other two for next weekend, but yeah, I think they're looking pretty good. I mean, we zoom in, you can see that shine. It makes the tire look like crap. I guess I'll have to do something nice to that tire. So there you go. Appreciate you guys stopping by. Thanks for checking out the video. Uh, love to all of you. If you want to leave a comment, please do. Please like the video. And if you enjoyed it enough to subscribe, please do that too. See you on the next one. Yeah, I saved her from the rain. We're doing a little happy dance. Flashing the strobes in the corners. <laughs> After spending all that time painting the wheels, you better believe I'm not going to let the wheel get rained on and mess up all that paint. Good Lord, but it's not helping my yard out much. Look at them tracks. Digging holes. <laughs> Whoa, hey, lightning. I better get my ass in the house.